All right, so thank you for joining us today for our virtual job fair 2020 for Eastland Fairfield Career and Technical School. I am Christine Boucher. I'm the Business Partnership Coordinator, and it's my pleasure today to talk with you about opportunities for our students um, at Carroll Place. Uh, could you tell me a little bit about you and, and your company? Uh, my name is Jason Hill. I'm the Executive Director. Director. Um, I'm here with Holly Sullivan. Um, she's our care services manager. Um, so she's over the nurses and the uh, resident care partners. We are in assisted living. Um, we have 46 apartments. Um, we're licensed for uh, 56 residents. Um, we have studio apartments, um, one bedroom apartments, and um, the care we provide is intermediate care. So it's in between an independent living and a skilled nursing home. Okay, all right. So um, what positions, you mentioned that Holly's over the nursing area, what positions are you currently looking for or planning for the summer or into the fall? What are your needs now and coming up? Um, that would be um, PRN um, resident care partners um, to fill um, all shifts. Um, so first, second and third. Our first shift is 6 a.m. to 2 p.m., second is 2 p.m. to 10 p.m., and third is 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Okay, so you mentioned PRN and resident care? Is that yes, so PRN is as needed, uh -huh. so to fill in holes between um, our full and part-time staff, mm -hmm. and then resident care partner um, is the the guts of the building here, I guess, they provide um, the biggest service to our residents. Um, Direct care. Yeah, so providing um, bathing, dressing, um, toileting, um, assist, that kind of thing. And we're so, also recruiting PRN um, LPNs as well. So okay. um, recruiting nurses and um, direct care partners. So we have a pre-nursing class, high school class, our students in uh, their junior year earn their STNA. Um, they sit for it and get that credential. Is that, does that fit what you're looking for? Is that STNA credential or what, what do they need to have to work at, at Carroll Place? Um, they actually don't have to have an STNA okay. um, credential. Um, it's not required. Um, it is required by our company um, that someone be 18 years of age or older. Okay, okay, good. And if they do have their STNA, we do pay a higher rate um, okay. for that certification. Okay, so um, as needed, and then the, the resident um, care, um, they don't have to have the STNA. So, Correct. for example, our we have a an adult medical assisting program. Those students are over 18 with a degree. They could work for you as part of their stepping stone with their program, correct? Yes. Okay, okay. So um, I think we, we talked about what a student, wh what you're looking for, so that'll be helpful for our, our high school students that are graduating and our adult students who are also looking for employment. Um, so why does a student from the Career Center make a good connection for you? Um, a lot of people will pick this career path um, to go into nursing, so it's a step in the right direction. It gives them some experience um, getting their feet wet and um, deciding if they, they want to pursue it as a career. And a lot of people um, just like to work as the resident care partner as their career. We offer full-time benefits, um, a great benefit package, um, and just the connection alone um, of finding the right fit for us. Um, they might have friends that might want to apply to, so it's a good connection. You mentioned LPN. What was that, Holly? We find a lot of our applicants um, um, relate to taking care of um, a relative, uh, maybe an uncle, an aunt, a grandparent, um, and then they feel like they that gives them some sense of purpose, so that then they want to um, share that with others and help the um, other older adult population. Right, yeah, that makes sense. You had mentioned about the LPN. 
do you have tuition assistance if uh, if somebody comes in say at an entry level with maybe the STNA or the medical assisting and their plan is to go the LPN do you provide um, find tuition assistance for that um, we do uh, provide tuition assistance um, I'd have to research that a bit more to see if it does apply to the LPN program okay. um, but yes okay good so you mentioned the benefits that's a benefits are always good but a uh, bonus for uh considering who they're who somebody is going to work for um so are you looking to hire right now like like in may coming up is that your need at this time so if we have seniors in our pre-nursing program who are over 18 they could apply right now for open positions yes we're always recruiting for P the PRN position, um, so yeah. Okay, okay, good. And um, a lot of folks, if they get their foot in the door like PRN and part-time or full-time positions come open, mm -hmm. then they can also um, transition into one of those if they would like. Okay, all right, so they start out as needed, um, filling the holes, filling the gaps that you have, and then their foot in the door allows them to maybe take a, a full-time potentially full-time schedule as one opens up yes okay and you said you have how many residents uh, we have 46 apartments um, currently we have 42 um, residents okay so you're you're close to capacity then yeah mm -hmm. good okay and just because now i saw holly when you came in you had your mask on um, what other precautions are you taking in your facility during this time? Um, we take temperatures of everyone coming in the building. Um, we ask uh, the required questions um, that the CDC recommends. Um, you know, have they had a cough or been in a facility that's had a positive COVID-19 um, patient? Mm -hmm. um, we are now serving um, meals on um, disposables and um, they're eating in their rooms. Um, we do still do activities, but we, we uh, apply the six foot um, rule. A lot of them are in the hallways in, the, in, their, in their doorways. Right. Um, but uh, no visitors, um, so all of that. Okay. Yeah, and all, every staff member um, while they're here working um, has to wear a mask. Um, even at us, as we sit in our offices, we, we wear a mask and the, um, the other staff providing the care wear a mask the whole shift. Um, um, yeah, I think um, you covered the rest of it, yeah. Okay. Okay, is there anything else you'd like to add before we end the video? Well, a part of our, our mission is to enrich um, the lives of those that we serve and our core values um, are compassion, um, humility, um, integrity, um, excellence, excellence and, fun. and fun. So it is a fun place to work. We like to if you have fun at work, then it's, it's not really worth it. And I always say, if we didn't laugh, we'd cry all day. Yeah. So <laughs> I we're a fun group. I understand that that's one of the things I miss the most about being in, a, in an office environment or my coworkers and laughing. So mm -hmm. I understand. All right. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate you taking your time out of uh, your day today. I hope that this generates some contacts for you from our students. We'll certainly get this out to them so they can see it. Thank you. Thank you, Christine. Thank you.